Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to discuss this uh, circulating story around Colorado Buffaloes and Deion Sanders. So in case you have been living under a rock or you just don't pay attention to college sports, uh, Deion's pretty much been a polarizing figure because he's been getting a lot of coverage, right, about the changes he's making to Colorado, the team, and you know, just a lot of hype, right? The ESPN's pretty much shown every game I think they've played this season. And um, it's been getting some heat lately, and particularly from uh, a sports journalist by the name of Jason Whitlock. And there's others, but I want to talk about Jason Whitlock for a second because this is bigger than just a sports story. Um, and that's why I'm talking about it. You see, recently Jason Whitlock has been taking a lot of shots at Dion, or at least let's say the portrayal of Dion. He's also been taking shots at the NFL. I don't know if you guys see, but he's pretty much been asking for people to boycott the Super Bowl. And a lot of this has to do with the recent craze over Taylor Swift, right? So I guess this this video is twofold, right? It's Dion and Taylor Swift in the NFL. Um, look, I understand that being polarizing sells, it gets clicks, it gets views. And with all the constant coverage that Dion and Taylor Swift have been receiving lately, um, you're bound to create people who are just tired of it. They just don't care. They don't want to hear about it. They don't want to hear any more of the stories about Dion and they don't want to see any more coverage about Dion. And same thing goes for Taylor Swift, right? I just want to watch the football game. Every score, don't show me what she's doing. Every commercial, don't pan back to her. I get that. Um, but let's talk about the Dion portion first. And um, my issue with what Jason Whitlock have been saying is, you know, he's a fraud. He's this, he's that. He's not doing this for the black community. He's not really a man of God. And, and it's like, Claiming God as his motivating force invited the gangster rap world to his locker room, to his sidelines, to Boulder, Colorado, and everywhere. Okay, um, are you a sports journalist or are you something else, right? And I don't care either way. He can be whatever he wants to be. You know, he has a platform. Make whatever content you want to make. My, my issue with it, as I'm also in this content creator space, definitely not to the degree that he is, but it's creating negativity or feeding off negativity for clicks, right? And for attention. That's my issue. Like I said, because of all the coverage that Dion has been receiving, you're definitely going to create a segment of people that just don't want to hear it, right? They're like, I'm over it. I don't want to hear any more Dion. They're two and two. They're not a powerhouse. Okay, let's stop talking about this man in this school. I get that. But that's the people that Whitlock is uh, pretty much creating his content for now, right? And obviously, he's probably looking at it from a perspective of, I can't make content building up Dion because everyone else is doing it, right? So why would people look at me? So what I got to do is take an opposing argument. And look, for the sake of argument, let's just say he doesn't agree with uh, the morals and the values of Deion Sanders. He doesn't like him as a coach. He doesn't like him as a person. Let's just say he doesn't. And again, you, you're free to do whatever you want in this content space. But I just feel like feeding off negative vibes is just such a detriment to the, con the content space. It's a detriment to viewership, right? Because people are already angry and then you feed into that anger to create even more anger. It doesn't create positivity. It doesn't create, it just breeds more and more negativity, right? And that's what I think Mr. Whitlock is doing. Creating more negativity, feeding off other people's negativity, pretty much like a vampire feeding off your blood, right? That's what he's doing. And I just think it's wrong because you can have your opinion. You can say, look, I don't think Dion is what he's cut out to be. And you can make your hit pieces. But he's just going too much with the whole fraud and 
the NFL is using him to brainwash. Other like it's just so much propaganda and conspiracy theory, tinfoil hat theory nonsense. And it's like, dude, I get it. You don't like the guy. You don't like what he represents. You don't agree with his methodology. That is cool. Make constructive content explaining that, not just content to breed more negativity. And to me, that's what he's doing. And the same thing he's doing with Taylor Swift. Get the whole Taylor Swift thing. I get it. But she ain't special. She's just another useful idiot, another tool being used to feminize America and to make America a globalist country that does that that's anti-nationalism, that's anti-God. Deion Sanders, the same thing. This is happening in conjunction in college and pro football. Right. Saying that, oh, she's being used and um, this is to make the NFL lean more left, more liberal, blah, blah, blah. And talk about what we need to do in reaction to what's going on with football. The things that we're seeing and witnessing, the elevation of Taylor Swift and Deion Sanders, these aren't accidents. These are the final steps to overhauling and transitioning football into a total tool for the left and their messaging. Look, I'm not a political pundit. Um, I have no affiliation to either party. If you ask me personally, I think both parties aren't worth a damn. Um, I decide who I want to vote for based on that individual and not on their party. I, I could care less what affiliation you have. I vote on the individual, not on their party party affiliation. Um, and I'm not a fan of either party, to be honest. But to 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 now make this more liberal. See, if you see what he does, right? What Whitlock likes to do is say how you know liberals like to make everything about race. Well, you make everything about politics. So you do the same race baiting that you, the quote unquote liberals do, right? Stop acting like racism and anything that's divisive isn't the foundation of news reporting. It's been like that for years. It's been like that forever. Um, you had your few journalists that actually tried to be down the middle and just give you straight facts. They were That was always few and far in between. News media has always been a form of propaganda. It doesn't matter which side of the fence you're on. That's what it was always used for. Um, so to say that the NFL is using Taylor Swift to be to push in a liberal agenda, I think is ridiculous. To ask people to boycott the Super Bowl is ridiculous. I do want to make some demands, and that that that's where I really, really, really need you all's help in terms of yeah. L l let's boycott, make that point, but let's also have, hey, what's our demands? What do we want from this? Part part of me again because. <laughs> So someone, I, I believe in retribution and accountability and uh, sacrificial lambs to drive home the point. I want Roger Goodell out. This is entertainment. It's sports entertainment. People use this as their getaway. Don't use this as a political platform. Now you're going to come back to me and say, well, isn't the NFL using it as a political platform? Possibly. But who cares? That's not why we watch the NFL, right? No one's watching the NFL because Taylor Swift is there, except for maybe Taylor Swift fans or people who had zero interest in the game and they only have interest in the celebrities that attend. I mean, um, I also watch the NBA. Has the Los Angeles Lakers, since I can remember, have always showed Jack Nicholson sitting front side, front, you know, court side, front row. Jack is here. Right, they've always shown celebrities at games. That's nothing new. I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. I remember when Tony Romo was dating Jessica Simpson, they would pan to her as much as possible as well. This is not new. This is what they do. It helps promote their game. It helps promote their brand. They're a business. Right? They're in, they're in the entertainment business. So I understand what they're doing. Of course they're going to pander. That's what they do best. 
They have to pander for attention to make profit. Um, but as content creators, I think we could be a little bit more responsible. I understand negativity sells, so that's what people are going to do. But is it right? Does that mean that's the best thing to do? Is that the best form of content to give people? I just don't think it is. For, so for him to tell people to boycott the Super Bowl, it's like, man, I get it. You're trying to compare it to boycotting B- Bud Light. I think, that's, I think that's apples to oranges. And yes, they're both fruits, but they're just not the same thing. Um, they're not the same kind of fruit. And again, I don't care that Taylor Swift is at the game. I watch football for football. You know, I just don't care about that. When football goes to commercial, I change the channel. And I try to turn back by the time in, in terms to catch when the game comes back on. I don't care about the advertisements. I don't care who's there. I'm just watching the game. I think most sports fans just watch the game. They don't care. Real sports fans are not the people on these social media platforms complaining about political messages. That's people who care about politics that also happen to watch sports. But that's not sports fans. That's not true hardcore sports fans. Don't get the two confused. So, Mr. Whitlock, I think you're better than that. I, 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 I hope you do better than that. I doubt you will. This is your platform. This is what you've been doing for a while. And I don't even look at it as a race thing. I don't look at it. I don't even look at it as you that you deliberately want to tear down either one of these individuals. I don't think you have any malicious intent. I think what you, what you, what you do is you find a topic and then you try to play devil's advocate and take the the side of the, of, um, as you called it, you always root against the elites. So whatever side you think is the more popular side that has the greater numbers, you take the opposing argument and you feed off that, but you do it off the negativity you don't try to provide positive thoughts and constructive criticism. No, that's not what you do. You make it about religion. You make it a, a you know what, the Dion's sidelines is a gangster rap video. A gangster rap video? Uh, I don't see anybody toting guns. I don't see anybody promoting drugs. Yes, there are rappers. Yes, there are people in the hip-hop industry there. They're there to support Dion. They're there to support the student athletes. They're not there to popularize gang violence and gangster rap music. That's not what they're there to promote. They're there to endorse and support Dion and the student athletes. I think you missed that intentionally because I know you know the difference. But again, this is what you want to do feed off the negativity of others for content. And, you know, God bless you. But um, I think you could deliver, you know, good content without doing that, in my personal opinion. But I want to hear from you guys. Uh, tell me what you guys think about um, all this, you know, hype surrounding Deion Sanders and Taylor Swift. Are you guys sick of it too? Leave your opinions in the comments. I definitely want to read them. I definitely want to interact with you guys. It's been a minute since I, I put out a video, you know, life is life. Um, YouTube is not my full-time gig, clearly. And um, had to take care of a lot of personal things and things for my family. And, you know, that definitely comes first. But with that being said, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe to, video, to the video, subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Click the notification bells if you want to hear more. And as always, take care of your mind, take care of your body, take care of each other. That's what we got. Peace.